Hey guys, and today we're talking about the special edition premium finish carbon edition of the Glide. The FPV Cycle Glide. Um, we already reviewed the Glide on the channel before, but I was able to get my hands on one of these ultra rare limited release um sort of a shiny lacquered carbon fiber finished version of the glide and so i actually got this um there was a local guy that was leaving the hobby selling a bunch of stuff purchased a bunch of his stuff and this build was in there but it was in a totally different state of affairs this was well loved you can tell somebody actually used this for some hardcore freestyle so i did a complete tear down and rebuild put some different motors on here put a different camera on here added some printed accessories and the luckily the frame itself was in great shape and now i have one of these ultra i mean look at the finish on this carbon oh my goodness uh, such a fantastic build. Let's go through the build components itself very quickly. In addition to this custom frame, 2208.5, 1922 kV version of these Hyperlite motors, gigantic beefy motors, totally equipped to be able to run a full-size GoPro. I have a Brain 3D printed mount on there just because it looks so nice, the color blue and orange combination. Um, I went ahead and added these 3D printed feet to the feet and this camera protector at the front designed by Zero Volume, one of our local 3D design experts putting out some great designs. Uh, it, has, it has the Hyperlite 20x20 20 20 ESC on here. This is the first time I've used that, but it's really just a rebranded Akon. It is the Furious 20x20 20 20 using the Oscar version of the Runcam Phoenix um, at the camera. I'm using the Rush Tank Ultimate full-size VTX. That is one of the most powerful VTX is on the market and I'm using a crossfire with an Amuro L style antenna mounted with zip ties. This is kind of like the Mr. Steel uh, mounting and of course a true RC um, antenna. Um, prop wise I'm going with the Ethics Lemon Lime tangy version of their props and this thing just flies great. There's so much room I could fit DJI in there quite easily if I wanted to. Um, there's so much room at the front, there's so much room at the rear. It's just spacious accommodations. When you just want to build and have space for everything in there, this is just such a joy to build up. It's really cool, the different versions of the Glide that have come out over the years. Um, there's been the hammer, the light version, the regular version is, is kind of has a new, um, some tweaks that are meant to kind of take over all those other versions, but if you have the means i highly recommend you try to get one of these limited editions it just looks so handsome um, if you want a freestyle frame that is easy to build easy to service um, you just really don't look any further than the glide now i do really really like my premium versions my three favorite freestyle frames you know really are the apex the badger and the Callus Machine Works Bang Guy. Those are my three favorite, but if I had to say what you were going to want to build if you don't want to spend $100 on a frame, it has to be the Glide. It has to be the Glide. This is for when you just want to fly, and it, it, you know, look at the design of this. You really get most of your props out of you. There's a variety of GoPro holders for this. There's a variety of strap locations for this. <sighs> Just so versatile guys so if you're looking for a mid-range price freestyle frame that has a lot of community support you just always have to consider the glide for budget you got to go with the tbs source one this is just 20 bucks more than that though and the build is just so spacious i really like the arm design evolution that kebab has done over the years these really mate in the middle and have a sandwich plate um, at the bottom that just like there's no arm wiggle and the arm protection on his designs has always been kind of an industry leader that sort of flaw style two fingered approach and this skid slash arm guard that zero volume has designed 
is just perfect for those hard freestyle landings and keeping the tips of those arms really clean. Even on a very large size 2208 motor, this offers you the most protection for that. And when, on, when you wanna build a freestyle build that's designed to be able to carry a GoPro, um, you want all of these things to be safe and you want to use a motor that's powerful enough to throw that weight around and fly how you want to fly and having the availability for these arm guards to be able to protect those expensive motors is definitely a plus um, what do you think in the comments guys what freestyle frames are you going with do you go with the premium ones do you go with the budget ones do you go with the mid-range ones um, are you when you're shopping for freestyle are you mostly shopping for ease of build and ease of service? Are you shopping for looks? Are you shopping for durability? Smashing, are you shopping for spacious accommodations to be able to fit everything that you want? Are you shopping for the best balance to be able to fit your GoPro at the back, or at the top and the, and the battery at the back? And you know, what is the considerations that you guys look for? Thanks guys.